Hello internet and welcome to CodeBig. In this video, I would like to show you how to dismiss the keyboard in React Native. I hope you are excited. Let's get started. In my local, I have created a new React Native app by running npx react native init with the project name. In my app.js, I have removed the default code and added a couple of text inputs. I have also added styles to make the UI look pretty. In the background, I have my development server up and running and built the app for Android simulator. This will be our starting point for this tutorial. If you want to follow along, you can clone the repo using the link in the description below and do an npm install to install the necessary dependencies. Once that is done, we should be at the same starting point. Currently, clicking any of the text input brings the keyboard as expected. But the only way of dismissing the keyboard is by hitting the return key. This leads to a bad user experience. Technically, the user should be able to click anywhere outside of the text input to dismiss the keyboard. This is what we are trying to achieve in this tutorial. The first way to solve this would be by wrapping all the text inputs within a scroll view. Out of the box, scroll view provides a prop called keyboard should persist taps, which determines when a keyboard should stay visible after a tap. The possible values are never, always and handled. As you can see, the UI is completely messed up as we have enclosed it within a scroll view. Regardless, bring up the keyboard and click anywhere inside the scroll view to dismiss the keyboard. In this example, the only region highlighted in the red is the portion of the scroll view and clicking anywhere outside of it does not hide the keyboard. The drawback of this approach are that we are complicating the layout by unnecessarily introducing a scroll view. Next, as per the documentation, we must use this approach only when we have no way of dismissing the keyboard inside of a scroll view. The right way of achieving this would be by using touch without feedback. As you can see, touch without feedback supports only one child. If you have several children, enclose them within a view. Importantly, touch without feedback works by cloning its child and applying render props. So make sure it is the first component in your render method and wraps all other views. Using touch without feedback does not affect the existing UI. If we bring up the keyboard and click anywhere outside, it dismisses the keyboard as expected. The way it does that is by calling keyboard.dismiss, which is a static method offered by React Native. In this way, Without any compromises, we are achieving the dismiss functionality. You can get a bit fancier by creating a HOC like this. It does the same thing, but now you can reuse it across multiple components. Just import our HOC on the top, update the code like this, and you're all set. Let's check our app once again. As you can see, Everything is working as expected. That's it for this video guys. See you in the next video. Happy coding until then.